Hello everyone, how you folks doing? My name is Armando. Previously in another video, I did a um, video called uh, Hawaii 2024. And, and that was to show that the changes that have occurred over those years from you know, I was born 1953, and there's been a lot of changes since that time before statehood in Hawaii. But now I want to focus my attention more to Waikiki. That's the destination. That's where everybody wants to come. Everybody that comes to Hawaii always wants to go to Waikiki. And so let's dive, let's dive into that and talk more about Waikiki, famous Waikiki and Diamond Head. Waikiki means the spouting waters, referring to the many freshwater springs and streams that once flourished. And it may now be the tourism center, but before it was one of the power of for, for 400 years. Now why that name why commonly means fresh water or liquid in Hawaiian. I don't know if you ever knew that, but let's talk about the early history of Waikiki. The, the name Waikiki translates to spouting fresh water, referring to the numerous springs and streams that once flowed through the area. In the 1400s, Chief Kalamakua designed an irrigation system to cultivate resources native to Hawaii, including taro patches and fish ponds. By the 1450s, Waikiki became the government center for the island of Oahu. Okay, now the Hawaiian royalty and surfing, during the, uh, let's talk about that, uh, during the 1800s, Hawaiian royalty sought refuge in Waikiki, uh, using its shores to surf on early forms of longboards. Dignitaries like Kamehameha IV, Kamehameha V, Lunalilo, Kalakaua, Liliokalani, and Princess Kaiulani frequented the area, some even having permanent residences. Okay. Let's talk about the development transformation. In the eight, late 1800s, small hotels began to appear. And Greek-American George Lysurgis leased a guest house, renaming it to the San Susi. And there's a beach named after the San Susi Beach, one of the first beach resorts. For, foreign fishermen established Honolulu as a harbor village, attracting merchant ships and fishing vessels. King Kamehameha moved his royal court to Honolulu's waterfront, playing a pivotal role in the city's history. Okay, now, Waikiki today. Waik now, the Waikiki wetlands, and they were wetlands before, were transformed in the early 1900s to combat disease carrying mosquitoes. The Alawai Canal was created to drain the wetlands, and that was with the, I think the uh, Dillingham, Walter Dillingham was involved in that, if I'm not mistaken, wine dredging. Now, let's talk about uh, the surfing. Duke Kahanamoku, a legendary surfer, popularized Waikiki as a surfing hotspot. Okay, and that's mainly the popularity of Waikiki as a surfing. The first high-rise hotels were built in 1955, marking the area's transition into a bustling resort destination. Okay. So, and today, and that's what this video is about, and you're going to see the aerial footage of that. Um, so the rest of it is the aerial footage and the music of Waikiki. Um, I hope you enjoy the video. Mahalo for watching. And, ahoy ho!